Well, Jamie Malarkey, welcome back to the show, mate. It's been six months for you without a fight. How keen are you just to get back in there? Keen as can be, mate. Keen as can be. It's been too long. Well, let's talk about your opponent this weekend. First up, Devontae Smith, an absolute savage. Not a single decision, even all of his losses, have been finishes. This guy's not a points fighter, but hey, look who I'm talking to. Are you going to approach this fight a bit more tentatively than you normally would, or should we expect fireworks from the get-go? No, it's the, it's the same, same man as always, mate. It's going to be going in, touching gloves, and trying to take this guy out. What concerns you most about coming up against a guy like Devontae? Uh, nothing concerns me, mate. <laughs> what would I be concerned? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm here to fight the, the best guys that they can bring at me, but um, there are things to be wary of. He's, uh, he's a powerful, athletic guy, so he's got speed, um, but we, we've got a good game plan that we're, we're going to bring at him and take away this win. We can't wait to see it. Speaking of game plans and preparation, you did your camp again with Alexander Volkanovsky. How beneficial was that for you? Yeah, it was good, man. It was really good. Uh, had a good crew of guys down there. Uh, we've done a few camps together now, so we're, um, we're, we're all in sync and no, I couldn't have prepared any better. What about training with Volk makes you a better fighter? Um, I think it's the, the constant uh, mindset and like just, just looking at how the guy, the guy trains, you know, like, I really feed off uh, off that energy and uh, the freestyle fighting gym. They they really have a have a high work rate. So um, and then just the level of guys that's down there. Um, <clears throat> that's the biggest thing, probably the the high level sparring, the high level like there's no easy rounds. So um, you have to get better if you if you're in that environment, training hard every single day with a bunch of savages. You you got to get better. Did you watch his performance over the weekend? I missed it. I was actually on the plane um, on the way over, so I couldn't watch. But um, I saw some of the highlights. It was wild. Jamie, let me ask you this. For this fight coming up for you, did the fact that you're from Australia make it difficult to get a fight booked? Uh, yeah, it does. Um, it's definitely harder for us. Anzacs on the other side of the world um, with all the all the COVID lockdowns, restrictions. Um, there was there was a lot of obstacles uh, coming into this fight, but we we managed to overcome them. Um, and it really just makes us like want it that bit more, you know. The reason I ask, Jamie, is because Alex Volkanovsky, in his post-match press conference, he was saying that, you know, he was considering maybe staying over in the US, you know, maybe knock off a few fights there, you know, to avoid having to quarantine just, you know, while all this blows over. Um, mm. And obviously the Kiwi guys, you know, with Dan Hooker and Izzy also sort of talking about doing that as well. Is that something you've considered? Would you move over to the US temporarily just to get some more fights under your belt more frequently? Yeah, if it's, uh, if it's something that's going to make the, the process easier, um, like I said before, it's it's challenging for us Anzacs. It's, uh, it's not as easy as... Uh, being over here and leaving here and <clears throat> just getting to come over and fight like like normal really. Um, so if it if it made the transition a bit easier, then for sure I would. But you haven't made any sort of concrete plans, or you haven't been seriously thinking about it yet. Uh, not yet. No, not we haven't really. I'm gonna wait and see uh, how these lockdown restrictions and everything like how Australia goes over the next couple of months. But if, if nothing changes, it's definitely something that I'm going to be looking at. Another Aussie on the card, Casey O'Neill. What's your prediction for her fight? Um, yeah, I haven't seen too much of her opponent, Shichenko. I've uh, obviously seen a lot of her, uh, Valentina, but I know Casey is tough. I know she trains hard too, man. I, I, I like I like her. It's just just I'm watching Casey. Um, she's confident. She's heavy on top. Uh, I think she's going to do well. Now, the, the Aussie fighters certainly making their mark in the UFC. The age-old question, Jamie Malarkey, can we get a prediction for this weekend? I uh, predict the finish. I don't know how it's going to come, but I'm going to get my hand raised and I'm going to get him out of there. In 40 seconds this time around. 
Uh, we'll see. <laughs> well, Jamie Malaki, always a pleasure it is. UFC Fight Night, Santos versus Walker is this Sunday right here on Foxtel, the ESPN channel. Thanks so much for your time, and hey, good luck. Thank you. Cheers.